What's going on model building friends? It's Rick here. Just want to make a quick video of the completed Revell Plymouth 426 Hemi Cuda engine kit in one six scale. It's a very detailed kit I think for the money that you pay. I think it's well worth it. It's not quite as nice as the Hawk one quarter scale Hemis that they have but I think for the $20 or so price tag that you pay I think it's well worth it. So if you want to see a review of this kit, everything that comes inside, the parts individually, uh, check out the review. I'll try to post a link below the video, but if you want, you can just uh, search through my videos and it should be a couple videos before this. But without further ado, let me show you guys the completed 426 Hemi Cuda engine. And here it is. Very happy with the way this turned out. Like I said, I think it's a really detailed representation of the 426 Hemi engine. And I currently have mine displayed without the shaker hood. But you can see here it's got the, the grills on the inside there. It's a two-piece design. They just screw it together and then it pops on top of the carburetors. But I'm not sure exactly how tight of a fit it is, so I decided I'd leave it off for now. The only thing I need to do now is find a display case for this that's large enough to fit the engine. But as you can see here, it has all the details of a real engine. Got your front pulleys, belts, alternator, power steering pump, fan assembly, and cool part about this, let's see if I can get this to do this here. You can actually turn the flywheel and it turns all the belts and everything. It's not 100% perfect the way they do the, the pins that hold these in. A few of these things are kind of loose, but. You know, it's nice. You're not going to be spinning this thing all the time. So, and if you look at the back here, you have a de detail for your PCV system, positive crankcase ventilation, as well as your heat riser tubes that go into the intake and help the engine warm up. And they also have the control valve for that. Got your spark plug wires, two four barrel carburetors, uh, the dual line inlet lint for the fuel fuel filters which I found the hardest part of this engine was running the fuel lines these things just did not want to line up perfect so I had to kind of you know course them into place a little bit there but you know they came out nice a little bit of detail on the inside of the carburetors you should I'm sure you could uh you could detail those up better if you wanted to display this with no intake on it or possibly make your own you know intake uh, air cleaner setup but I think overall for what it is like I said for the $20 or so price tag. I think it's well worth it. Got your coil, nicely detailed distributor with vacuum advance. Runs off the back of the carburetor there. They have a uh, vacuum port. And I did notice that there are some slight variations from what I think this engine actually looked like, like the fuel lines. In the pictures that I saw, your uh, regulator and splitter right here actually were above the distributor and the vacuum advance. Uh, not sure if some models were different but you know little things like that I'm not really too worried about and you could also the way this is set up how it has two belts you could run this without the power steering pump if you want to do like a full race setup uh, but you know it's pretty nice and then they have the Tampo style decal here on the oil filter the Mopar oil filter and I actually left this unglued so I can take it off it's really tight though I don't want to mess with it right now but they got the nice Exhaust manifolds, and this is all pre painted. It's your starter in there. And you could paint this another color if you wanted to, or detail some of it up. I know I've seen some people who detail the alternator up, but I just left it as is. Get your mechanical fuel pump there, your oil pan. And this is all plastic except for the block, which is die cast metal. I'm not sure what kind of metal, whether it be steel, aluminum some kind of pop metal I'm not sure but you know that's what gives it the weight and you actually can screw this down to the base which I have not done but there's two screws for each support here that screw it down and then you also have this base which is nice because it's got the Plymouth Hemi Cuda uh, lettering here as well as the diamond plate texture you know and you could do whatever you wanted to with that you could add some other color detail it up but I built this model pretty much as is. I didn't do anything to it. Uh, the only other problem I found is if you follow the instructions, and maybe I did something wrong, but if you follow the instructions for putting on the plug wires, like these here, where they go into the cylinder head, those are correct. And they also have little uh, things that hold them down. And they also have the wire separators here and on the other side. 
but this is correct on how it's supposed to be in the instructions. However, when I tried to put them into the distributor in the order that they, they had them in, which I'm not sure if that's the correct firing order or not, they didn't seem to want to fit. So you can see I kind of just got them in there uh, the best way I could to get them to fit. But overall, I think it's a really cool model, and if you guys are into cars, you know, you like the, the 426, you know, you're a big Hemi guy, or you just want to build something different than your typical model kit, definitely check this out, because I highly recommend it. It's a really cool kit, you know, if you want to learn more about engines, this will definitely help you out. So, uh, just want to make this quick video to show you guys, and again, this just, as you saw in the picture, this just sits right on top like there, and then you can pop it in. And there are also two supports that pop into right here, but I decided to leave those off. So there you guys go. There is the Plymouth Hemi Cuda 426 Hemi engine with the shaker scoop. Completed build here. Like I said, it didn't take a whole lot of work. Uh, total assembly time was probably an hour or two, and I was you know watching some YouTube videos while I was doing it. Really, the longest amount of time was waiting for the glue. I used just some tester super glue. And it seemed to work pretty good. So there it is, guys. Let me know what you think. If you built this, you have any comments, questions, feel free to let me know. Appreciate everybody watching. You guys all have a great holiday. And I'll talk to you all soon.